Okay, this laptop was brought in broken screen. It's kind of an older Asus laptop. Uh, the client wants us to get the screen replaced and the screen actually just came in. Holy cow, this screen is so broken. So, let's take out the power and get the new screen installed. First thing I'm going to do, ooh, there's the battery. that's out and over there okay since this is an older computer it's probably gonna be fairly easy yep there's one screw there's another screw Okay, so it looks like there's a grand total of six screws around the screen. You can see one here, one here, one here, one here, one here, and one here. They are each behind a rubber gasket, so we are going to quickly remove those screws and see if the plate actually comes off easily. Okay, all six of the screws are out, and let's see if I can get a good view of. So these are these are the corner screws. So focus in a little bit more. Come on. And then I'll put next to it the center screws, which are a little bit shorter and more silver. So the two silver screws go in this slot and this slot. So we need to remember that when we're putting this thing back together. Now, carefully go around the edge and pry up all the plastic tabs. This one's a little bit easier because it did take a hit. So some of the plastic tabs are already broken. There's a couple of tabs that are sticking a little bit more than we would like, so grab our iFixit pry tool and go down the side here. There we go. So with how each of these tabs are, you're going to want to put the pry tool in and push towards the back. Now that we have that out, we can see where else it might be stuck. And start prying open the bottom part. This part might be a little bit trickier for you because mine is missing one of these. So this goes over the hinge right here and you just saw it go flying off. You can try to pry these off before you pry everything else off, but they tend to pop off pretty easily as long as you're not breaking them. And because this is an older laptop, the screen itself is in a nice metal harness that holds it in. So it looks like all that's really holding it in currently is four screws, but we'll find out because it may be attached to this metal up here. Quick update from the future, it is not actually held in by the metal bar at the top, but I do still recommend taking it out because it actually makes disassembling it a bit easier because it takes some of the tension off of the screen. And the lower screw is silver and the higher screw is a darker one and much more slender. Which 
try to keep these ones organized. Ta Let's see if it just pries out. Nope. These two screws up here are holding it in. So it looks like the harness goes around in a U shape. Well, upside down U shape. Okay. Oh, it wasn't attached to that one. It was just stuck to it. <laughs> Quick note, if you're following along with me, you do not have to take out the top harness. So we're just gonna put that back in on the plastic clips that are there to hold in place. And it looks like it's a little bit bent, so it's a good thing I did take that out. Oh, this screen's been replaced before. It has electrical tape holding it in. So we're just gonna pry that up. I mean, the tape from the actual ribbon cable isn't damaged, it doesn't look like. So I don't see why they needed the electrical tape on there. And on this one, it has no clip holding it down, so it is just pull the tape and pull it out. Now that we have this out, we can actually look at the harness that's holding the screen. So Let's carefully remove this. Close this and show you guys the harness. So, as you can see, this metal right here that's going along the side is attached with four screws on both sides and is all that is holding the screen in there. So let's get the four screws off of this side and then the other side and put the new screen in the harness. There we go. We got the old screen out of the harness, and now let's pull down our new screen. So here's our new screen from LaptopScreen.com, and if you look at it, it's actually a newer model of this screen. So let's just make sure everything lines up on it. it. Has the protective film, so I don't mind flipping it over like this. Yep. The pin slot is close enough that I'm not really concerned. And check, you can see that the screw holes line up perfectly. So this screen should work. We're gonna leave the protective film on there until we actually get this fully installed because we should be able to remove it while it's actually in the laptop. So we're just gonna line up our first screw so we get something in there. Actually gonna start with the one up here because it doesn't have anything in the way. Hole. Get it almost all the way screwed down, then start doing the other one so that just holds it in place. Now go back through and make sure to tighten them down decently because you don't want these screws coming loose and rattling around inside the actual case. Now flip it around and do the other side.
Now that we have that on there, I need to first put this back in the housing. Now we're going to take our screen. Remember, we still want to have the film on here so we can carefully set it on the keyboard here. Pick up our ribbon cable and line it up. And use the tape to hold in place. If this tape does not have enough stickiness, then you can use some of this type of tape. This is a uh, high temp masking tape. This is usually what I use to hold down this strip right here. You just put it across that way. Kind of like how they use this electrical tape. I don't tend to like using electrical tape just because it's not its intended purpose and electrical tape just leaves a lot of residue. So now we just Put it back in the case and make sure it is actually lined up. Take our cable and route it through down here. I'm not entirely sure where the routing is supposed to be for that cable because this computer's already been repaired. I'm hoping that's the right spot. Now this should be held decently enough that you can go through and put back in the four screws that hold this in. Now that we have it to this point, I wanna make sure that this new screen is fully working. So I'm going to plug this laptop in, have it boot up and then have it shut back down. As you can see, the screen is actually showing. And because it is older, it is running Windows X, not Windows XP, Windows 7. Now I'm just gonna have it shut down and we'll be able to put the rest back on. Okay, first thing we're going to do, so we can keep the protective film on there as long as possible. So we're gonna pull this tab over and lightly tape it down onto the film <laughs> so it doesn't get in our way and we can pull it up after this bezel is on because this bezel will line up to get nearly the entire thing out. Let's see. I need to pull it down a little bit so this one corner will be revealed but if we do this most of the screen should be protected while we're working on it so nothing bad can happen. Now we're just going to go around and snap everything back together. I do usually warn my customers they might hear some snapping if they apply pressure on their computer just because of the plastic tabs getting back into place. Make sure none of the cables are in the way as we do it. And there should be, yep. Feels like they're back in place, it's just a little bit creaky. Now just look around the outside, see if it looks like there's any gaps, and then you put these back on. So with these, it looks like the two tabs go towards the back and the three tabs go towards the front. Pop in the back tabs first and then the front and it should be good to go. Now earlier we noticed that the two silver screws go up at the top here, so Let's put those in first. And then we'll do the four corners, which are all the same screw it looks like. Okay, now that we got all the screws back in, we're just gonna put the rubber protectors back over each one of those. Now that we have the little rubber feet back on, we are just going to quickly flip this over, put the battery back in, 
and then do a power on test to make sure everything works. As you can see, screen turns on and we are good to go. We also removed the plastic from the screen so that it looks all clean and nice for when the client picks it up.